Today we're making yet another fried rice, tom yum fried rice. Now, tom yum fried rice requires a bit more effort than the usual fried rice, but trust me, it is worth it. Okay, let's go. The first thing we have to do is to make the tom yum a base paste. For the dry ingredients, you're going to be needing one lemongrass. Remove the hard outer layer. Chop it this way, otherwise it's going to get all stringy and fibrous. And we don't want that. Next is galangal or blue ginger. You need just one tablespoon worth of this. So just peel off the skin and give it a few slices. Just about this much. Give that a rough chop as well. You'll also need about 4 to 5 kaffir lime leaves. This is what they look like. Fold it in half and remove the hard middle stalk. I find that it's just easier to use the scissors while you're doing this and give it a couple of slices as well. Grab all of those ingredients and put it in a food processor or a blender just like this. To that, we're going to be adding the wet ingredients. This is dried chili paste. I have the recipe linked below and somewhere on the screen. It's basically blended up dried chilies, onions and garlic. I'm going to be using about 2 tablespoons of the dried chili paste. Alright, next is the tamarind paste. This is what it looks like. Now, this is the sour in the tom yum rice. You're going to be needing about 1 tablespoon of this. Pour some hot water on it, just enough to cover the tamarind paste. Yeah, and you can give it a little shimmy shimmy with a spoon like this as well. And leave it to one side for about 5 minutes to loosen the tamarind pulp. Basically, this is what you want, the tamarind pulp juice. Go ahead and add the juice to the blender as well. Uh, we don't need the seeds and things like that, just the juice, okay? And then just simply blend this up. Now, when you're making this tom yum paste, I would highly recommend that you double the portion. I mean, might as well and keep the rest in the fridge. This is a delicious tom yum spice base that you can whip up for a tom yum soup, tom yum noodles, and to make a delicious stir fry with just chicken, seafood, even vegetables, and then it's great just served over rice. Anyway, once you blend this up, this is what you're gonna get. And honestly, the hardest part of this recipe is actually done. This is beautiful. Perfect. Next, just for the sake of efficiency, I'm going to be adding all of my seasoning sauces for the fried rice right now. In a bowl, mix in 2 tablespoons of fish sauce. 1 tablespoon of light soy sauce and finally a teaspoon of sugar or in my case a palm sugar syrup which isn't as sweet as sugar which is why I'm using a tablespoon worth of it. Don't worry if you don't have palm sugar or even palm sugar syrup, you can just use sugar, okay? Okay, the other stuff. So this base paste is good for 2 cups of day-old rice or for 2 servings. I'm using a brown rice today. Next would be your protein of choice, if you like. I have some chicken here as well as some shrimps. Your favourite vegetables because the veggies are good for you. I have some yao mak chai here, just chop them up to bite-sized pieces. I also chopped up one onion as well as some garlic here, you know, standard stuff. I also have some cilantro here for garnishing, it's optional. I'm going to be adding in 3 eggs to my fried rice as well because what is fried rice without eggs? Okay, let's start cooking. To the pan, we're gonna add some oil and um, you'll need a lot of oil, like this much. Fried rice is not um, health food, let's just say that. Make sure you have a low heat and we're going to be adding in the tom yum base paste first. Mm -hmm. 
So we're gonna be stir frying the base paste first. We're gonna be stir frying that until it cooks. Now, how do you know it's cooked? It's when the paste intensifies into a darker red and it's kind of drier. Just like this. The oil will also kind of separate and begin to turn red. So that's how you know that it's done. If you find the paste is kind of getting too dry, don't be scared to add a little bit more oil to the paste base. You want to make sure that there's actual oil still left over to actually do the frying of the rice. That's gonna cook for about 5 minutes or so. So once your kitchen smells really amazing, just go ahead and add in the garlic and onions and toss it in with the paste. Once the onions wilt and cook, add in the proteins. And then just let the proteins um, hang out and, you know, cook. Alright, next I'm gonna just push everything to one side and create space for the eggs. Scramble the eggs up and stir fry that together with the proteins and the base paste. Now, this is going to be a more wetter fried rice, but I honestly don't mind it for this one. It's just lesser pans for me to wash this time round. If you prefer a drier tom yum fried rice, then I would suggest that you leave the eggs out this time round. Just fry the eggs separately and then add it on top of your fried rice afterwards. So once the eggs are cooked, go ahead and add in the rice and also you can pour over the seasoning sauce bowl that we made earlier. Gently toss all of that together with the spices and the proteins and just let that incorporate. Vegetables next. We're almost done, so give it a taste test and see how you like the seasoning. You might need to add more fish sauce or soy sauce if it needs the salt. Mine was perfect. If yours is too, then turn the heat off and this is optional but I'm going to garnish with some cilantro. I also have some lime juice here so I'm going to add that in as well. You can just serve this with some lime wedges, that's fine as well. Okay, plating time. Go ahead and plate that and I like to serve this with a side of some fresh cucumbers. And you're done! This is so good and so delicious. You know that tom yum paste is honestly everything for this dish. I highly recommend that you give this a shot so yeah, try it! Bye!